need to be able to realize that you are where you need to be yeah. right now. Definitely. You're still in the ring, there's mm-hmm. still time, mm-hmm. you have a fight to fight. Mm-hmm. If you're not a part of the fight, that's a different conversation. Yeah. But the fact that you are a part of the fight and you're in the space, recognize yourself in the position that you're in yeah. and show up. Yo, what's up, good people? My name is Dennis Ngango and welcome back to Defining. As you can see, I'm not alone, but some really good people with me. Number one, we have content creator and 5-2 doctor, <laughs> Josipo Mplanga. Hi, everyone. And then one of our very own, one of the boys, Alan the boys, Alan Heats, TP, Heat. <laughs> or rather, <laughs> TP. That's what I was gonna say, it's a bit of a TP. <laughs> Whether you are in high school, whether you're in varsity or any academic system, one thing I can definitely tell you is that it's our time. Yeah. So we decided to come together and share some wisdom with regards to how to save the semester. Yeah. Have you guys ever had to save the semester? I have. I definitely have. More than once. <laughs> Many times. Save my life. Yeah. Fact, it's like in the engineering <laughs> game, time and yeah. time again. All the time. So if you want to be a part of this conversation, please do make sure to continue watching the video. Also, if you want to become a definer, it's easy. Good people. First things first, I thought it'd be really dope to start off with academic status. Yeah. Uh, where are you in the academic game? What have you achieved? Because you have a couple of you know heavyweight champions between the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> I am studying mechanical engineering mm-hmm. at the University of Pretoria. All right. Uh, I am in my third year of studies, despite it being my fourth year. Yeah, I know those are bump in that road, hey? Yeah. <laughs> Big one. We all know those. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, there's this one module called the MKM. It's, it's eating my soul right now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's through with programming, so now I have to learn structures and program structures. So I'm just like, you know what, Lord, take the wheel mm-hmm. and help me through this. But so far, hopefully so good. So from my side, I am a industrial engineering graduate mm-hmm. from the University of Pretoria. Mm-hmm. And uh, I also had a bit of a bump in, bump in the road. My LinkedIn profile had final year student for like two years. Oh. So there was, had there was a, a bit of. Profile, that yeah. Is well, I, I had to. It was time to look for jobs, you know? <laughs> okay, sure. So sure. it was that thing of like, yeah, there was a bit of a bump in the road, but I studied industrial engineering. Mm. And yeah, man. So, hi, everybody. The heavyweight. Ah, uh, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've probably been in school the longest, yeah, I think. Um, so I was at UP my first two degrees so i did medical sciences at tax and then i did my honors in neuroanatomy at tax and now i am a vitsi not so sure if it's a proud vitsi but i am <laughs> a vitsi at the moment and i'm studying medicine at vits i'm doing my final block actually now. quarter two so, five two yeah actually six weeks two now oh, all right. six weeks two doctor uh-huh. which is great so that's where i am at now so i thought it'd be dope for us to just share a couple of tips with regards to how to save the semester. I know it's like two weeks away for, from exams as mm. well. So I think tip number one from my side is definitely get your head in the game. Mm-hmm. I think uh, when it comes to getting your head in the game, first things first, breathe. Yeah. Breathe, take a deep breath in. And out. So first is definitely breathe. Secondly is definitely scope the situation. Mm-hmm. You need to know how how bad you may be when it comes to your current module or your studies you need to know how bad things have been going Mm. and how much time and effort you need to put in and then i think the most important thing when it's about getting your head in the game is making sure that your mind is in the right space Mm. there's one verse joshua 1 verse 9 that talks about be strong and courageous, do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Mm-hmm. And earlier on this year, I had like a big aha moment, because mm-hmm. people barely talk about the question that comes before the whole, do not be you know, afraid, yeah. and do, you not, do not be um, frightened, the mm-hmm. whole, even before be strong and courageous, there's the, the, the sentence in the, in the Bible that says, have I not commanded you? And for me, that gave me so much freedom because it's just that thing of the Lord saying, 
it's going to be tough. Yeah. It's going to be hard. Have I not told you? Mm. Be strong and courageous because it's going to be a thing. You're yeah. going to need to be strong and courageous. Yeah. And I think especially when you're young adulting and <laughs> school and yeah, it's a school. challenge. Yeah. yeah. It's 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 the space to really get your head in yeah. the game and make sure you are all right here. So I think for me, the first thing that I think is really important is for people to study. I think people always right. like want to be like, oh, um, I'm going to pray and this and that. And there's actually a verse in the Bible. It's actually about studying the word of God. But I think it applies to life as well. And the verse is 2 Timothy 2.15. And it starts with study to show yourself approved. And I remember in high yeah. school, actually, our physics teacher is the one that like told us that verse. And she was like, you guys are always going on about how, you know, you're religious and you believe in God and God will come through for you. But did you study? Because it's not like you're going to walk into an exam and, then, and yeah. be like, I have faith. I'm going to pass. And there's a colloquial term or colloquial saying that people think is actually in the Bible but it's not I checked at some point because I had like a conversation with someone saying it was in the Bible but it isn't mm -hmm. and it says God helps those that help themselves and it really is important for you to help yourself first and if you help yourself first then you can be like okay God I've done my part yeah. so please now help me mm -hmm. beyond this point so I think it really is important to save the semester you're in a educational system wherever you are being that high school university, wherever you are, you need to study. I mean, with me, throughout my journey, I did um, medical sciences and my honors because I wanted to get into medicine. Those were my first um, choices. So I spent a good amount of my first part of my schooling journey fighting to get into the degree I wanted to be in. Yeah. So literally, it took 90% of my life. And then when I was finally in medicine, I was like, oh, nice time. It's going to be great. But it hasn't been. I spent now 99.9% .9 of my time studying. But yeah. it's really been such a worst. Because four years ago, I was like, yo, I can't believe I'm studying another degree. And now I'm like, oh, wait, in six weeks, I'm done. Mm -hmm. So no. it really is yeah, a thing yeah. where it feels like it's overwhelming. It feels like... You're never going to get past it, but you're going to study and it's going to end. Yeah. The hardest job on this planet is study. Mm -hmm. People think it's hard labor or anything. No, anyone can literally train themselves to like always do something. But to put this, to consume information and to yeah. spew it out mm -hmm. wherever it's needed. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But I mean, studying also includes making the most out of the resources that you have. So that includes speaking to your lecturers, mm -hmm. having a support group, yeah. you know, making sure that you're going to the tutorials. Because mm -hmm. this time of the year, especially, is when you should be listening. Because yeah. that's when your lectures and your teachers are dropping yeah. heads with regards to the how the exams, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. the scope and everything. So make sure you're woke and you're a part of the conversation. Yeah. So it's not a thing of... I'm just focusing on studying, but I'm not studying yeah. the right things. Mm. And find other resources. YouTube is a great study resource. I study yeah. a lot of stuff from YouTube throughout my journey from high school. My sister now encouraged her to use YouTube because mm. people are not the same type of student. I think everybody uh, kind of thinks the whole nice. sitting in a lecture hall, having someone talk at you works for everybody, but it doesn't necessarily. And for different mm. modules, things work differently. Mm. So if you can see that, okay, this is not working for me, find another way and YouTube is a great resource with different types of learning styles, different types of teaching styles. So if you look on there, you'll find a resource that works for you. And interestingly enough, uh, Nozipo has a channel on YouTube <laughs> and you can actually study with her. So if you're yes, not yeah. encouraged um, to study, she, yeah. you do the whole study with me. Yeah, videos. I did one and I did a live on Thursday. So I've yeah. only got two, but... On the reels though, like... If people feel like demotivated in any source to actually like get up and actually do it, um, I always look to the scripture, Romans 15 verse 4. It says, for whatever was written in the past was written for our instruction, so that we may have hope through endurance and that through the encouragement from the scriptures. So it's just like what Dennis and Nozipo were saying. Mm -hmm. If you guys can study your word, it'll flow into all the other areas in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially study. Mm -hmm. Like I, I recently just came out of a fast and... One of the most biggest things I learned from the fast about myself is that if I don't begin or end with the word and my studying fits in between that, I won't have effectively studied. So what I mean by effectively mean what I read and what I consumed knowledge wise, it would stay there. So if I didn't do that, it wouldn't stay there. So effectively means it stays there and I can spew it out in my own understanding. So what I would always say is just find yourself or rather know yourself to the extent where you can anchor yourself mm -hmm. and I, 
just like you guys, I I preach that anchor yourself in the Word and in the Lord of Christ. So anchor yourself with something that resonates with you and you will always operate from a place of I want to do more, I want to do better from that. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I think also this time of the year and this this whole studying space, mm-hmm. there's no time to feel guilty. Yeah. Especially if you need to say this myth, there's no time for you to feel guilty. It's done, it's done. It's done. You can't go back in time because I know a lot of us and I know when I was in varsity, it was the main thing of the first couple of hours with you just being angry at yourself mm-hmm. for not having taken the time to study. Yeah. And then you're more angry at yourself because then you're just like, but guys, this thing was easy this entire time, <laughs> all time. Yeah. You know, why, why was I slacking? And mm. for me, that's like very important. Do not feel guilty. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you're not proud of your actions, but at the same time, Psalms 139 verse 16 says, all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Yeah. And that for me is so important. Mm-hmm. You need to be able to realize that you are where you need to be yeah. right now. Definitely. You're still in the ring. There's mm-hmm. still time. Mm-hmm. You have a fight to fight. Mm-hmm. If you're not a part of the fight, that's a different conversation. Yeah. But the fact that you are a part of the fight and you're in the space, recognize yourself in the position that you're in yeah. and show up. Yeah. yeah, There's still hope, eh? And I think that resonates <clears throat> with me because um, there's a verse in the Bible that I really love and it says, but trust God. And I think that's really important because it starts with but trust God and it's a very long verse but I think the thing that's really important here is it says for God will never put more on you than you can bear mm-hmm. and I think it's really important in any situation in life over and above studying and education in school is that when you're in it it always feels like it's overwhelming it always feels like it's too much and it always feels like you know that you'll never get past it but if you think about it that's how you felt about your first exam in grade one do we write exams in grade one? Anyway, Maybe grade 12. The, the, grade 12. <laughs> Maybe I did. I still remember my spelling test. My spelling test for my exam in grade one was hard. Exactly. But fine, something more relevant. Your first exam in, because for all of us, we passed matric and matric, your matric exams, your prelims, everything felt like you could never get past it. And it was always too much, but you got past it, meaning that God never put anything on you that was too much for you to bear. And I think it's also really important for people to realize that Everything that you need, God has already equipped you with to achieve Mm. whatever it is that you need to achieve. And it's really important, like Dennis said, you're not where you are by mistake. So if God has put you in engineering, in industrial, well, another engineer, if God has put you in (laughs) industrial engineering, if God has put you in medicine, wherever you are, you're there because God feels like that's the space for you to be in if you're a religious person. And he'll equip you to get through that space and you'll eventually come out of it alive. It always happens that way. But it really begins with you trusting God yeah, and working exactly. towards those things, being aware of yourself and your capabilities. I literally have this rule, say the 12 hour rule. If it's literally 12 hours before my paper, I literally say I have 10 hours to make sure that in the last two hours before I go right, I am not panicking. Mm. Yeah. So use your time wisely. So I know someone like me, um, we have an injury attack, mm, so it's crunch yeah. time. Yeah. So sometimes you find yourself standing back to back to back to back to yeah. test just like that. So when it comes to like a test where I'm writing one which I have to like heavily invest myself and then the one next day I've done the work but I just need to revise. I know I'm going to spend all my time studying for the one I'm not comfortable with. Yeah. Then afterwards, I'm going to literally say and apply this 12 hour rule I have. Yeah. In the next 10 hours, if I don't grasp this module to where I want it to be, and the last two hours decides whether I go right, whether I have a flu and I go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about the whole panicking thing, mm-hmm. it's very important that you protect your, your, your space. Yeah. Your mind space, but also like your studying space. Like mm. we all know those people, um, or some of you may be friends with them. <laughs> that some of you are there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. Some of those people who just, when you're trying to study, they're just overwhelming yeah. and they're just saying too much or they're just, let's go to the stream. Yeah. You know, let's let's go out, you know what I'm saying? Club. And they just change your focus. And sometimes even for other people, it can even be just communicating with your family during yeah. this time. Speaking to your family could be quite stressful mm. because you feel like you don't have any chance of failing. Yeah. And then that adds more pressure because you just feel like this is my last shot. Yeah. And I can understand that and I can, you know, 
empathize with that but you also need to know what are your triggers Mm -hmm. what are the things that will will make my mind go completely left what do i need to put in place and if these people make me anxious Mm -hmm. or stop me from you know pursuing what i need to do or focus on what i need to focus on yeah we have a bit of a problem yeah because yeah. i know in first year yo my parents didn't smell any results from me <laughs> and then second year came i was like nah meeting out talking to my rent is killing me because yeah. now nah, i'm always on some i need to pass if i fail world is ending mm. world is ending because yeah. they don't know and i don't know how to tell them mm. so finally when i got the chance to break the ice mm-hmm. ah, it, it just it relieved the weight yeah. yeah and i feel like some people don't necessarily like see like the good thing that comes from actually yeah. talking to your parents because yeah. they're yeah. humans as well and they understand that you won't necessarily excel at everything mm-hmm. but they want to be there for you through yeah. your ups and your downs yeah. so and i think managing your triggers is really important and managing your anxiety is really important but i think it's also important to remember that god didn't give us the spirit of fear and it's really important to realize that emotions are things that everybody experiences but sometimes emotions can tend to get overwhelming and you need to experience your emotions acknowledge them so you can deal with them but don't let your emotions control what you know your emotions are a feeling it passes but what you know is something different if you know that god has put this in my hands and i'm supposed to achieve this and this is what i'm supposed to do feeling a little bit shaken doesn't negate the fact that you have a goal to achieve yeah so it's really important to acknowledge them so they don't pile up and overwhelm you but don't let that control your life because if you're like oh i'm anxious i'm scared and then that completely overwhelms you and then you don't do anything that's counterproductive and then that affects your goal so i think to wrap things up i'm gonna give each of us a chance to give our final words of encouragement starting with me yep. yeah. okay <laughs> so for me one of my favorite favorite verses in the bible is jeremiah 29 11 and it says for i know the plans that i have for you mm. plans to prosper you and not mm. to harm you and plans to give you an expected end mm. and i think the expected is really important there because god already knows what is expected for you and all you're doing is going through the motions to get to that expected end so as we already mentioned you just need to trust god but do your part as well put in the work that you need to Thanks. put in and you will then get to the expected end that god has for you and if things go bad that's life life happens to everybody things go bad sometimes but um it's a bump in the road has been yeah. said everybody has yeah. had a bump in the road and after that things should turn out fine bro. since you can't do life alone don't necessarily try and do this whole studying thing alone sometimes that is not always the key because we we sometimes we find ourselves studying better when someone else is there or other mm-hmm. people are there you know so if i was to say anything i was like if you're not already in a study group or you already have a study companion mm, of the sorts yeah. yeah try and get yourself in those environments because mm. then you guys would feed off you guys energies and if one is really focused and honing in you'd be like okay mm. let me also focus and hone in and yeah. actually do what i need to it do helps a lot. exactly and then this also helps keep uh, uh, you guys responsible for each other so if one like defers is like ah oh, no i don't feel like now nah, come on let's just do it mm. we've got a few more hours and then we can take a break after that mm. literally reciprocate of each other just like that yeah. yeah so if you guys aren't already like doing it keep each other responsible because mm-hmm. i know from my side engineering is no one man's degree yeah. <laughs> if i get my degree i am paying homage it's to almost 400 people <laughs> bit money mm. bit money mm. but yeah that's it from my side mm-hmm. i think from my side it's two things i think number one you need to affirm yourself the entire exam mm. or saving the semester season because there will be challenges there will be times where yeah. you write that one test and you're like yo i'm not out <laughs> you know um i'm going you know as the kids say so definitely affirm yourself every day if i were you maybe choose a specific phrase or a specific verse that you're just going to repeat yeah. every day to yourself because trust and believe by the end of the season this season you'll believe it Mm. and you'll reflect it Mm. so that's really dope and then second and last thing is that it's not the end unless you allow it to be the end that for me nobody can tell even if it is a lecturer even if it is your hod even if it is anyone Mm. a parent someone who you feel like has a big influence and they're telling you yo it's Mm. the end Mm. it's not the end unless you allow it to be the end Mm. so even if things don't end well it's still not technically the end. Because you can always do it again next year. Yeah. You can, no, but really, I mean, 
Record time isn't everybody's journey. Hey, bro. Hey, the record time talk. It's, I guess. it's not everybody's <laughs> journey. <laughs> On next episode. <laughs> <laughs> time is But thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for making time. You're welcome. Right, we got you. So plug yourselves, tell them where they can find you. My name on all my social media platforms. Okay, on YouTube it's Nosipo Mshanga. On Instagram it's Nosipo underscore DM. And then on Twitter it's Nosipo Mshanga underscore. Alright, on my side, on YouTube, you can find me featuring here as always on Define. <laughs> Hello. Sure <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> bell. On Instagram, it's tapelo underscore t. I mean, underscore x underscore tp. And well, that's it because the other platforms WhatsApp, but I'm not gonna give out. Ah. <laughs> I'm not gonna give out my numbers. It's for my people, you know. It's for my people. It's for my close fam, my peeps. So yeah, that's it. From my side, everything is at Dennis and Gango, and of course. We're home here at Defining, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe, let us know your thoughts on this conversation. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to have an affirmation for the rest of the season, let us know. You know what I'm saying? Share it with us, let us know so we know when we bump into you in the streets or in the comment section, we can always affirm you too. So, hope you enjoyed. You was important. There you go. God bless you. You, you skipped something. I you forgot was kind. It. You were smart. You was important. important. <laughs> <laughs>